To begin, let's go to the Windows search bar and type Workbench. Double click on Fluid Flow Fluent to bring it into the project schematic. And then double click or select Geometry and we'll go to Analysis Type and choose 2D. Then double click to open up Space Claim. Once Space Claim opens up, let's choose the XY plane to sketch on. Use Plan View to view it head on, and then let's create two circles. Make sure you get snapping to curve center, and then click and drag and type 2 meters for the first circle. This will be our outer boundary. Then repeat this and type 200 millimeters. If you need to change units, remember that it's in File, Space Claim Options, over here. Now we'll, we just need one quadrant, so we'll use lines to split the domain uh, along the axes. We'll go to 3D mode to create a surface, and then hit escape to get out of the sketch tool, and we'll select these two faces and delete them. This leaves us with our inner region and our outer region. Go ahead and close out a space claim. and then double click on mesh to open up the mesher. Once the geometry has loaded, go ahead and close out of the tips, and then click on mesh, and we'll add a face meshing to this outer region. Click apply, and then we'll add a sizing to that region as well, and we'll give it an element size of 100 millimeters. Then we'll add a sizing to the inner region, and we'll give that an element size of 10 millimeters. Go ahead and click Update. Then we'll go and create our name selections. Select the outer region, right click, and say create name selection. And then do the same for the inner region. And then change to the edge selection filter. Control select, select both. And then these will be the symmetry. And then these two down here will be axis. And that just leaves the outer boundary out here. And then go ahead and close out of the mesher. Notice that we get an update symbol here. So right click and choose update. We can name our system something appropriate, so we'll call this transient analysis. And then we can save our project and also give it a suitable name. Click save. 